Craig, what do we know from that five o'clock advisory? So we know that it's still upper end category three, which was expected because the center has been very close to the coast there, but is now starting to move northwestish, and I'll show you that in a second. 125 mile an hour winds. Now the important thing about this is 130 is category four, so it needs to increase in intensity by five miles an hour, and it'll be back to category four for for a lot of people that are impressed by the category. We're very very high end upper end category three. Presently 115 miles south east of Key West and the speed has slowed down a little bit. There's uh, probably some big news here in the speed uh, as we go through this, but more so because of the, dis the direction here. Remember we were talking if it's going west, and yesterday that number of the compass there, that's the compass number, 270 is due west. Uh, then we saw some advisories, uh, some updates with 280, so we weren't going due west anymore, a little north. So not going this way, but kind of going a little bit like that way. And now, and then the last, the last position was 285, now 295. So these numbers are getting bigger more quickly, meaning that this turn, and I'll stand this way and do it. So this turn going this way is now increasing like that, so that it's facing more like that. So um, this is all expected. There are no surprises here. If there are any things here that I see that look concerning outside of what we're already concerned about, I'll be sure to let you know. Here in the graphic is the wind fields. So this red area here, that is the hurricane force winds. This orange area here, that's the hurricane force wind gusts. The red area does a lot of damage. The core does destruction, but the red area does a lot of damage. The winds here over 75 miles an hour, lots of trees come down, uh, homes are damaged. This, this red area uh, does a lot of damage. The core though, that's where there's the destruction, and it's about 45 to 50 miles wide underneath inside that red area. We don't plot the core. Uh, this orange area here, those are the hurricane force gusts. These are the power outages. Um, the, the very strong winds, gusts, and then this orange area here, which is now into South Florida, continuing to move to the north, uh, that uh, is the 40 mile an hour or greater winds. And we're seeing that from some of our, uh, our neighborhood network sites, the winds are sustained right now just offshore, 53 knots, just southeast of uh, Key Biscayne and Marathon there at 38 knots, so uh, in tropical storm force range. All right, so let's go forward into the time here. Here is the time stamp up here. That's what you can keep an eye on as we go forward as the storm moves to the north and uh, we're stopping here at 2 a.m. So 2 a.m. the hurricane force winds are into the middle and lower keys. It is really, really windy and gusting uh, and Key Largo. The storm surge is coming in now. It's coming in. The waves are coming in. And each time a wave comes in, another wave comes in to on top of that higher. And the track forecast has shifted just a little bit west toward Key West for the, for the core. Now remember, it's the core that you want to avoid, and unfortunately, the track position change here uh, is a little bit closer to Key West. But this whole area out here through Marathon, the Middle Keys, on up towards Key Largo, still really, really howling uh, now by Sunday at 2 a.m. Here in South Florida, Miami-Dade, the gusts are increasing. The wind is steadily blowing higher and higher. And in Broward, the winds are blowing pretty good, certainly stronger than they're blowing right now. All right, next time stamp here. We're now to 7 a.m. That looks like the closest point of impact possible landfall there uh, at Key West of a, of a strong Category 4 hurricane. And because this water is very warm in this area, uh, it, it has all the making of being in a strengthening phase. Uh, and sometimes when hurricanes are in their strengthening phase, uh, the winds that are coming together into the storm are very close to the surface. I've seen that in some storms where the strengthening phase of the storm really has a lot of wind near the surface, strong wind near the surface. So Category 4. Category 4, remember, 130 to 155 mile an hour winds. There's the cone. It's very, very tiny now because we're starting points there, and the cone, of course, spreads out. So uh, it probably won't wobble or won't uh, move too much. But here's the thing. Okay, Ed Rappaport's ready for me. 